Hello, welcome back to Summer Storytime. Do you know what it was on Wednesday? What we celebrated on Wednesday? Probably not, huh? John the Baptist. Oh, she knew already. <laughs> Wednesday. Oh, hello. Wednesday was the birthday of St. John the Baptist. Uh-oh, we got a boo-boo. <laughs> so our story time today is going to focus on St. John the Baptist and on baptism, since that's what he did. So we're going to read two stories here. Sophie wonders about baptism. Sophie's a very uh, inquisitive little girl. And we're going to read about St. John the Baptist. Usually we save the saint story for the end. We're going to start with the saint story and end with the baptism story. So here we go. St. John the Baptist, a saint for baptism. So John was a great prophet and preacher who lived a long time ago. Because he baptized a lot of people, he was called John the Baptist. He baptized Jesus, his cousin. Baptism is the first sacrament we receive. When we are baptized, original sin is washed away and the Holy Spirit comes to us for the first time. We become children of God and members of the church. Zachariah and Elizabeth were John's parents. They were good and holy people. Together they prayed that they would someday have a baby to love. They waited for a very long time. One day, something amazing happened. Do you know what happened? This is what happened. Zechariah was praying in the temple. The angel Gabriel appeared to him and said, Your wife Elizabeth is going to have a baby boy. You will name him John. Zechariah and Elizabeth were really happy. Their baby was very special. God had chosen John for a special mission. John would tell everybody about Jesus, the Messiah. Him. Him? Him. Yeah, his cousin. He tell everyone about Jesus would tell. Elizabeth's cousin, so John's mom, Elizabeth, her cousin, Mary, was also going to have a special baby, Jesus, the Son of God. Mary wanted to go see Elizabeth. She hurried to her house far away. Elizabeth was so excited to see Mary. Her baby recognized Jesus and moved inside her. He was happy too. Oh, Mary, you are blessed by God, said Elizabeth. My heart is full of joy, replied Mary. Mary stayed to help Elizabeth for about three months and then went home. When John grew up, he went to live in the desert. His life was very simple. He ate whatever he could find, usually locusts and wild honey. So when you celebrate John the Baptist's birthday, you don't have cake and ice cream. You have locusts and wild honey. John Yep, that's what a locust is. It's a bug. John wore clothes made from camel's hair and tied a belt around his waist. He prayed and listened for God's voice. After a long time, John was ready to do God's work. John traveled to the Jordan River. He helped preach to the people. Jesus, the Messiah, is coming soon. Get ready. John told the crowds, Share what you have with others. Be kind and fair, he said. Many people listened to him and followed him. His followers were called disciples. Right? A disciple is a follower of someone, a student. John told people to repent and make up for their sins. Some people did not like what John had to say. They turned and walked away, shaking their heads. Like these folks here, huh? Others wanted to get ready for Jesus. They were sorry for their sins and changed their hearts and lives. John baptized them. Today, the waters of baptism give new life in Jesus. You become Jesus' friend. Soon, John was called John the Baptist. People asked him, who are you? Are you the Messiah? No, someone else is coming, and you must get ready, John the Baptist answered. Then he said, I am not worthy to carry his sandals. I baptize you with water. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. 
He's warning people, Jesus' baptism is going to be different. Then one day, Jesus came to the Jordan River. He listened to John the Baptist preach to the crowds by the river. He saw people being baptized. Jesus, though sinless, told, told John the Baptist he wanted to be baptized. John the Baptist said, Jesus, you should baptize me. And Jesus said, I need to be baptized by you. He wanted to be baptized so that we would become God's adopted sons and daughters. John the Baptist smiled. He reached out to Jesus and baptized him in the Jordan River. At that moment, heaven opened. The Holy Spirit came down as a dove. There's a glare. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. There's a dove. And a voice came from heaven. You are my son. I am pleased with you. Now it was time for Jesus to travel to different towns to preach and teach. Many people followed him. I must let Jesus do his work, thought John the Baptist. He told his disciples, my work is finished now. Jesus is the Messiah. You must follow him, not me. That must have been a hard thing to do. Can you imagine if you had all those people following you and then you had to tell them, stop following you and go follow Jesus instead? John the Baptist stayed in the Jordan Valley and preached for some time. He reminded people to live holy lives. He even reminded the bad king, Herod Antipas, how he should live. The king shouted, I am the king and I can do what I want. I will not do what John the Baptist tells me. King Herod Antipas put John the Baptist in jail. John the Baptist was not afraid to speak the truth about the faith. Jesus was the center of his life and his preaching. He wanted everyone to get ready for Jesus. So he shared his message with all the people. Repent, be baptized, turn away from sin, and turn to Jesus. He will show you how to be holy. Later, the king had John the Baptist put to death. The church honors John the Baptist as a martyr, a hero of the faith. The sacrament of baptism washes away the sin we have from birth strengthens us and gives us God's grace, God's life, and God's love. This grace helps us live holy lives so we can do God's work. We can help people know and love Jesus just like St. John the Baptist. Teach about Jesus and share what you know. Tell others his message so their faith will grow. St. John the Baptist, you told people to repent. You changed people's hearts and lives so they could follow Jesus. Open my heart to do God's work, so I may grow in holiness and love. Amen. St. John the Baptist was a very important person pointing people towards Jesus at the very beginning of Jesus' public ministry. And we celebrate his birthday. Uh, we celebrate it this week on Wednesday. So there you go. What does murder mean? Murder means to kill. Oh. <laughs> so St. John the Baptist uh, is associated with the sacrament of baptism. So here's a book about a little girl named Sophie who wonders about baptism. Just what happens in baptism? There once was a little girl. Her name was Sophie. Sophie wondered about many things. Today, Sophie wondered about a photograph she saw that showed a baby in church. What are they doing to that baby? She asked. That's you, Sophie, on the day you were baptized, said Mommy. That's little baby Sophie right there. Sophie asked, what is baptized? That's when you become a member of a special family. But I already had a family, said Sophie. Yes, but baptism gave you another family, your Christian family. That's a great big family, honey, her mom explained. It's a family all over the world and all throughout time. What is Christian? Sophie wondered. A Christian is a person who believes Jesus is God's son. Jesus? Sophie got excited. 
Do you mean the Jesus we pray to at bedtime and when we eat? Yes, that's right, Sophie. Mommy had told Sophie that Jesus was the nicest man ever and that God sent Jesus to teach us how to love one another. Daddy and I try to live just like Jesus did, and we want to teach you to live like Jesus too. That's why we had you baptized. The priest poured holy water over your head and used his finger to draw a cross on your forehead. See, just like John the Baptist poured water on people. We lit a candle and then said a special prayer. Everyone in church listened and was excited. See, there's the candle that they lit off of the Paschal candle to show that this little baby Sophie now has the light of Jesus living inside of her. Sophie got excited just hearing about it. Can I get baptized again? What do you think? Can you get baptized again? No. <laughs> no, Sophie, you can't be you can be baptized only one time, but that's all it takes to make you a member of the Christian family forever. Sophie smiled. That's good news. That's right. That's exactly what we call it, honey. Good news. That's what the word gospel means. Sophie was so excited, she ran off to baptize her dolls. And that's Sophie wondering about baptism. <laughs> Remember, John baptized people, and then he said that Jesus was going to come and change baptism to be something a little bit different. He turned it into a sacrament where God actually starts living inside of you. So we got a couple of fun songs we want to sing here this morning. Uh, the first one is called Every Move I Make, or some people know it as Waves of Mercy. It reminds me of the waters of baptism. When you get water poured over you three times or you get dunked underwater three times, it's like waves of mercy washing over you. So I think you know the motions already, but just for everybody else, it's waves of mercy, waves of grace. Everywhere I look, I see your face. Hello. <laughs> this love has captured me. Oh, my God, this love. How can it be? And then you wave your arms like crazy. So let's start with the waves of mercy part, right? Waves of mercy, waves of grace, everywhere I look, I see your face. Jesus, every breath I take, I breathe in you. Waves of mercy, waves of grace, everywhere I look, I see your face, your love has captured me. Oh my God, this love, how can it be? Throw those hands up. Na, na, well, every move I make, I'm making you. You make me move, Jesus. Every breath I take, I breathe in you. Every step I take, I take in you. You are my way, Jesus. Every breath I take, I breathe in you. Waves of mercy. Waves of mercy, 
Since we're celebrating the birthday of St. John the Baptist this week with story time, it was on Wednesday, our craft today, our printable craft, is to make yourself a locust. <laughs> so you can print the whole thing. The center here is a, a roll of toilet paper, but you can just use any kind of construction paper uh, or cardstock to roll that up. And make yourself a giant locust, because remember, on John the Baptist's birthday, you don't have cake and ice cream. You have locusts and wild honey. <laughs> That's pretty gross. All right, let's conclude okay, with... Sure you pour honey. Make sure you pour honey on the locust. That makes the locust a little tasty. You want to you end by singing happy birthday to John the Baptist? Uh -huh. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear John the Baptist. Happy birthday to you. We'll see you next time. God bless. <laughs>